Hey guys, it's Bub here. In this video, we're taking a look at Project Luna. Back in 2022, we actually took a look at the very original version of Project Luna, but there's actually been a new one that was released in July of this year. This mod is made by Patrick TBP, so credit to him for creating this mod, and I'm very excited to log in and take a look at this updated version. When we took a look at Project Luna back in, I believe it was September of 2022, I know it was 2022, it was actually a very close replication of Windows XP. For those who don't know, because I realize I didn't explain this yet, Project Luna is Windows 10, designed and themed to look exactly like Windows XP. And back in 2022, Project Luna was the closest that I had ever seen to Windows XP. So I'm very eager to see what might have changed over the past three years and just overall see how the OS has improved because this was a really good mod back in 2022 and I'm eager to see how much better it is now in 2025. So the first thing we can see here is that the setup screen just looks like Windows 10, which totally makes sense. Nothing had to be themed like Windows XP just for the setup. Um, but here we go. We're now installing Project Luna. And as soon as we get in the desktop, we'll be back. All right. And here we are on the desktop of Project Luna. As you can see, the only thing I've done is I went ahead and installed VMware tools uh, just so we get a little bit better experience. But here we are. And at first glance, I personally would not be able to tell that this is actually Windows 10 at its core. Let's go ahead and start by taking a look at the desktop. We can see that we have a welcome to Project Luna file that is just a Word document, and it kind of goes over this is the second release of Luna, uh, minor bug fix update, there's no classic theme, uh, and big credits to all of these people who contributed to this project. I mean, there is a lot that would go into making a project like this. And again, the developer, Patrick TBP, Thank you. Uh, this is an incredible build. Then we can move over to the next desktop icon, which is a application called Luna Configurator, uh, where we can configure settings such as the username, password, picture, computer name, network, snap functionality, classic progress bars, and clear type. We're not going to use any of those because I have no reason to touch any of those, but they are there in the Luna Configurator. The desktop background by default is the Windows XP Professional X64 Edition wallpaper. But we should still have the option to go to Bliss. Yep, there's Bliss if we wanted to. But for the sake of reviewing the OEM install, we'll leave it as this. Moving down to the taskbar, we have our time over here on the right side, which, yep, does open the traditional legacy time and date settings. Uh, we then have MSN Messenger, uh, the volume with the Windows XP sounds, safely remove hardware, and then Windows security alerts which actually is the original security alerts back from Windows XP. Although, judging from some of the things in this window, I'm guessing that this is not the original. Let's go ahead over to the left side of the taskbar where we can click on the Start menu and we can see a very replicated version of Windows XP Start menu. Just keep in mind, guys, this is Windows 10 at its core. This is, I believe it's Windows 10 IoT Enterprise LTSC. Um, for off the top of my head, I believe that's what we're running. But regardless, just think, this is Windows 10 that we're looking at. In the Start menu, by default, we have Internet Explorer, which we'll take a look at, Outlook Express, Media Player, Windows Messenger, Luna Configurator, Tor Windows XP, and File and Settings Transfer Wizard. Let's take a look at Internet Explorer because tr traditionally, and yep, this is it, in these mods, they typically use like Firefox to theme Firefox to look like the browser that they're trying to imitate, and this is no, no exception. We can see that we're running Mozilla Firefox, uh, although it is themed exactly like Internet Explorer. What this does, this allows us to access modern websites without having to actually use IE6 or whatever version that Windows XP would have came with, because obviously older versions of Internet Explorer do not work anymore. So this is a theme to imitate the look and feel of IE, but actually still work on the modern web. So again, this is trying to imitate, yep, this is trying to imitate IE6. Going back into the start menu, let's see what we have under all programs. So under accessories, we have all of our typical accessories that we would see with Windows XP, nothing too out of the ordinary here. We even have an activate Windows, but that just reopens the Project Luna notes. So I'm assuming that there is, there's not an actual uh, activate Windows prompt because it just opens the word pad there. Uh, moving down, calculator, command prompt, notepad, paint, um, all of the traditional, I mean, they're all Windows XP applications as well. There's none of the actual, like, there's no Windows 10 things here that I can actually see. Uh, moving down, we have two versions of IE, the 64-bit and the 32-bit, which both go to Firefox, but I believe this is how it was in the X64 editions of Windows XP. It did have both. 
Moving down, we do have MSN, uh, Outlook Express, Remote Assistance, Set Program Access and Defaults, the Windows Catalog, Media Player, Messenger, Movie Maker, and Update. I'm curious if we go, I do not want to open Movie Maker, but rather I wanted to open Windows Update. There we go. Um, it does actually take us, okay, so it opens, For some, this is a little confusing. It looks like it actually opened the real Internet Explorer 11, so not the Firefox version. It opened the real IE 11 that comes with Windows 10, but yet it's giving us a 403 forbidden error. So it's, is it actually trying to go to, yes, yeah, trying to go to fe2.update.microsoft.com, the, the real Windows XP, Windows Update servers, and it appears that they've taken them down, or they just don't let them run anymore because this isn't actually Windows XP. Let's go ahead and take a look at Task Manager here. We can see our CPU and RAM utilization for this custom mod. So we're using about a gig. I only gave this VM two gigs, but we're using about a gig, 983 megs of RAM. Uh, and CPU utilization, we are currently idling at zero. So typical Windows CPU utilization, it idles around anywhere from zero to 10%, um, depending on what's going on in the background. Lastly, let's go ahead and take a look at, well, second to last, let's go ahead and take a look at our disk usage. So local disk C. Uh, we have a 59.8 gig disk, we're using 15 gigs, and then that means we have 44.8 gigs free. Pretty cool. Let's go ahead, last thing I want to take a look at are the games, because I realized we didn't talk about those. So we have all of the traditional Windows XP games, including the classic 3D pinball. I won't open it because when you open it, it makes really loud noises, but that is pretty cool. And of course, all of the internet hearts, internet games uh, that actually cannot run for some reason so those look to be corrupt uh, but we can run some games so like if I will do solitaire like yeah some games work it just looks like the internet specific games that were shut down a long time ago anyway they don't actually run with that being said this is a brief overview of the new version of project Luna definitely let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments below and if you have any other ISOs you want me to take a look at or custom OS's please let me know this review of Project Luna was actually inspired by one of you who commented on my last video. If you like this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new around here as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. With that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.